Hello everyone. In this video, we will install the Python Oracle DB driver and then create and run a Python application on Linux to connect to an Oracle Cloud Autonomous Database. First, I have logged into my Linux machine which is running Oracle Linux version 8 operating system. Now, Oracle Linux 8 machines come installed with Python 3.6. Now, although Python 3.6 is installed by default on Oracle Linux systems, I prefer using a newer version of Python. To get the latest supported versions of Python in your Linux systems, it is advisable to follow the instructions in the yum website from the link that is shown on the screen. Now going back to my Linux terminal, you will see that I have installed version 3.9.2. This is based on the instructions on the website that was shown earlier. Next, we will install the Python Oracle DB driver. The package of this driver is registered as Oracle DB in the PyPy or Python package repository. So you will see me using Oracle DB or Python Oracle DB interchangeably. Don't worry, they are one and the same. Now we can use the pip module with the Python command to work with Python modules and packages. So to check the availability of a particular package, I use the show command under the pip module. So in this case, I'm going to check for Oracle DB. So the Oracle DB package is not yet installed. Let's go ahead and install the Oracle DB driver on this machine. Now, since I am running behind a company proxy, I need to use the hyphen hyphen proxy attribute with the pip command to give the proxy details. So we have to give the complete proxy details, including the HTTP or HTTPS or whatever protocol that we are using. Then we use the install command to install the Oracle DB package. It is always advisable to use the hyphen hyphen upgrade and hyphen hyphen user attributes with the install command so that the latest version of the Oracle DB driver is successfully installed without any access permission issues. So as you can see, the Oracle DB driver is successfully installed. Let us now check it again using the show command. So you get all the details of the package that has been installed. This is the version, summary, author, etc. Now let us run the Python command line and see if we can use the Oracle DB package. I'm going to just say import Oracle DB. So there is no error here, which means that the package can be used in any Python program. So let's quickly check it in using a one liner. I'm going to check the Oracle DB version. It prints out the latest version. So with that, we have successfully installed the Python Oracle DB driver in the Linux machine. Next, we need to have an Oracle Cloud database ready. One can create an Oracle Cloud autonomous database using an Oracle Cloud account like I have done here using my always free account. Applications can generally connect to the cloud database using either the mutual TLS or one way TLS authentication, which Oracle introduced recently. In the case of mutual TLS, you would need to download the wallets on the client side where you're running the app. However, this wallet download is not required for one way TLS, although you may need to exercise some access control for it. I am going to use the mutual TLS here for old time sake and download the wallet so to download the wallet, you need to click the DB connection button, select and download the wallet from the pop-up window that occurs. When you download the wallet, you also have to set a passphrase or password, which is especially useful for the PEM file, which has been included recently as part of the wallet files. You need to remember this password or passphrase that you set for the application that we'll use later when you connect to the Oracle Cloud database. Now I have downloaded the wallet files in the directory wallet underscore OCI DB demo in my Linux machine. Note that we have the PEM wallet file and the TNS names dot ORA network configuration file here, which will be used by our sample application that will connect to the Oracle cloud database. We'll see this application later. Now let me go inside the TNS names dot ORA file. So in this file, you can see the network aliases for the different configurations of the Oracle Cloud database. Generally, we have three configurations. One is high, low and medium. So I am going to use the high configuration that is OCI DB demo underscore high. Let's uh, now move on to the sample application which we are going to use to connect to the Oracle Cloud Autonomous Database. So I have created this application called connect underscore adb.py to connect to the Oracle cloud database. So in the application code, we start off with the import section 
where we specify all the external modules and packages required for running the program. So in this case, I require the Python Oracle DB module and the get pass module for fetching the password from the user in a secure manner without displaying it on the terminal. Next, we set the username as admin. You are free to use other users as you see fit. In the next line, I set the connect string. So for the connect string, I use the network alias of the high configuration of the Oracle Cloud da uh, database that you saw earlier in the TNS names.ora file. And finally, in addition to the username and the connect string, we get the user password and also the wallet password, especially for the PEM file uh, from the user using the get pass module. So once we have all the user and DB configuration attributes in place, we pass them to the connect function of the Oracle DB module to create a connection object. And once a connection object is created successfully, we can use it to access and work with data in the Oracle database. So in this example, I'm just going to print the database version from the connection object. So let me quickly run this application. So I need to enter the right password. I need to enter the wallet password as well. Once I enter the correct password, you, uh, the connection object is created successfully and you are able to get the database version. That concludes this video. We have more videos on Python Oracle DB coming up. Till then, take care.